Today on Around Town, Daniel Kanzerski of Cleveland Division of Fire was sworn in to his new role as lieutenant by Mayor Frank Jackson. Then we'll witness Cleveland Hopkins Airport's first responders receiving the American Heart Association's 2018 Silver Mission Lifeline Award. Then we'll fly over to Cleveland Hopkins International Airport for a big announcement. Around Town will be right back, only here on TV20. We are Cleveland. When I was your age, I was just like you, fascinated by stars. But now I get to search for life in the universe. And who knows, maybe life is looking for us too. So we're like aliens to them? Yeah. Does anyone want to be a scientist now? I do. Awesome. We need more girls in STEM. Maybe we can find aliens. I'm a retired school psychologist, and helping people was my thing. After my stroke, when Meals on Wheels started, I was on the other end of the stick, so to speak, and I appreciated it very much, the attention that was given. <laughs> My name is Julius Gaines, creative writer, poet, photographer. America, let's do lunch. Drop off a hot meal and say hello. Volunteer by donating your lunch break at americaletsdolunch.org. Welcome back to Around Town. Okay, could you uh, raise your right hand and repeat after me? I state your name. I, Daniel Kanjerski. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the State of Ohio. The Constitution of the State of Ohio. The codified ordinances. The codified ordinances. And the charter. And the charter. Of the City of Cleveland. Of the City of Cleveland. That I will faithfully. That I will faithfully. Honestly. Honestly. And impartially. And impartially. Discharge the duties of. Discharge the duties of. Lieutenant of Fire. Lieutenant of Fire. In the state of Ohio. The state of Ohio. During my continuance. During my continuance. In set off. In set off. Set off. Set off. Congratulations, Lieutenant. All right, good morning, everyone. First of all, I'd like to welcome you uh, on behalf of the uh, Cleveland Airport System, the director of airports who is here, and the fine women of Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. Welcome to our facility. Um, we're always excited when we have guests that come to our facility because we love showing off our wonderful um, uh, employees and what we do and how we do it. So again, thank you for coming. Um, also, thank you to Southwest for your partnership. Um, your partnership, you know, we, we had a tour of your facility last year and um, we were amazed at some of the things that we've learned. And as uh, one, of the, one of the guys alluded to, we took some of the things that we learned at your shop and we started integrating them here as well. So we learned a lot of things and, and we really love that collaboration. Uh, so thank you. Um, we're honored to receive, today we're here because we're honored to receive uh, the, uh, the award that uh, the doctor will talk about shortly uh, that recognizes the hard work of the men and women of the airport uh, and the facility. <clears throat> I can't tell you enough how dedicated and how hard working they train a lot. Um, they're, they're really good at their craft um, and to be recognized um, by Southwest is really an honor um, that you know, we take great pride in. So thank you um, for, for, for the award. Um, Pre-hospital personnel are the first providers of care to patients suffering from cardiac emergencies, among other ailments that, uh, that you know, we respond to here at the airport. Um, on any given day, it could be anything. Um, and you know, for, for us to receive this award, it really says a lot. Uh, so thank you uh, to the men and women of the airport. Um, we'll also talk a little bit about the partnership at, uh, of Southwest General and Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. Uh, and the, and the uh, uh, things that we're planning on doing, that we're doing now, and that we plan on doing in the future um, at the airport. So 
Uh, with that, I will introduce uh, Dr. Stout, I believe. Is that right? Okay, got it right. Good morning. I'm Susan Tout, T O U T. Uh, yeah, that's okay, because I always go by S Tout. All my email is S Tout. It's absolutely fine. Delta was Tout, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I'm very pleased to be here with you this morning. It's always been a privilege to work with your EMS providers. Um, my role, I'm an emergency medicine physician, and, and I function as the um, EMS medical director for Southwest General and work very closely with Jackie Humshield in the training of all of our area um, EMS firefighters. Um, these guys have always been stellar. We feel like all of our squads are top notch, but it's always a privilege to present awards. This award is a Mission Lifeline, uh, 2018 Mission Lifeline Award, and it is award, an award sponsored by the American Heart Association. Uh, the award represents stellar cardiac care represent, given to patients um, who may pre present with complaints of chest pain, shortness of breath, anything that, that could possibly be a heart-related, life-threatening condition. It's so, so important for those to be identified quickly, treated and managed quickly with sort of standard of care and the best protocols possible by our firefighters who are usually the first to respond to those scenes. Um, it's not a very common award uh, across the country. I, I go to national conferences and there are a very limited number of EMS units who receive this and it again has to do with very, very tight metrics on how quickly they identify a life-threatening condition, how well it's managed, uh, the procedures that take place to transmit EKGs to the hospital. Uh, we are always so privileged to have great paramedics in our midst who recognize these things and know the changes on the EKGs. And that speaks to the diligence and the, the repetitiveness of their training in, in doing this. So this is an American Heart Association Lifeline Silver Award. It doesn't mean that the care they're giving isn't gold care. It is gold care. Silver represents the volume of patients. So again, very, very large municipalities will have gold simply because of the numbers of care, but all of them qualify on the same metrics and silver's just based on, again, the, the consolidated volume that your folks have been seeing. So we know their care is gold, <laughs> although the award actually says silver. And it reads, the American Heart Association and Stroke Association recognizes the EMS provider organization, Cleveland Hopkins International Airport, for demonstrating continued success in using the Mission Lifeline EMS program. Thank you for applying the most up-to-date evidence-based treatment guidelines to improve patient care and outcomes in the community, and in this case, the very extended community um, that, you, it, th that you serve. So congratulations, Cleveland Hopkins International Airport 2018 Silver American Heart Association Mission Lifeline Award. And great job, guys. We, we always appreciate your time. Thank you. And I will say it's been our pleasure to work with um, former Chief Davis over the last couple of years, and we welcome yes. Chief Cars and look forward to. Yeah, I would be remiss in congrats. accepting anything, and I don't want to jump on everything that the. Uh, yeah. Come on, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that the commissioner touched on. There you go. <laughs> Another call. Hey, Michelle, can take them good. Come on, just you guys. We'll you guys do more photos after. <laughs> We'll do more afterwards. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just to repeat, or not to repeat, the commissioner's comments about the relationship. It is 40 years long uh, for the Southwest General Health Center and the Chicago Hopkins International Airport. Chicago? Oh, my God, I did it again. Cleveland. Uh, He's new. <laughs> but through the continuous education that we do and, and the training that is now uh, <clears throat> very important as we touched on, the doctor touched on, the good doctor, we're very, very grateful for this uh, recognition. Our award means a lot to us and it also continues to inspire and motivate us. So thank you very much. The persistence of the crew. Uh, I'm very impressed with the Cleveland Hopkins International Airport crew, and we'll beat up the guys at Burke later, but very impressed with everyone. The number, just the fact that we have 100% uh, paramedics is a huge deal, um, so that helps as well in recognition. What we're also going to do today is uh, introduce Al here. 
We are continuing to provide top of the line care, gold standard medical care for launching a Stop the Bleed campaign next week. And this uh, is an initiative that I'll let, uh, I'll touch on more, but it is another evidence of our continued uh, efforts with the chief, the firefighters that are jumping up and stepping up, the officers that are continuing to do it. I think that's the best part of this. So thank you very much. And I'll bring Al up and he can discuss it. Matt's going to play with that stuff later. Excellent. <laughs> so chief. thank you again. <laughs> thank you, Chief. So good morning, everyone, and congratulations to uh, the team here. And, and just to reiterate, uh, on behalf of the administration of Southwest General, we really want to thank you for what you do every day for the, the travelers who are coming through Cleveland and, um, you know, the quality awards that Southwest General wins are a direct reflection of the work that's done even before they, the patient gets to the hospital. So we thank you very much for, for all your great efforts uh, uh, towards our patient, to the patients that come to Southwest General. Now we want to talk a little bit about the Stop the Bleed campaign, which is a national campaign uh, that really got born out of the fact of all of these mass trauma events that happened across the United States and a way that would enable uh, the first responders to uh, minimize the casualties that, that occur as a result of, of those incidents. So Southwest General is very proud to support Cleveland Hopkins International Airport. In, in the development of the Stop the Bleed campaign. Um, what, what we are able to do here is keep, as a result of this campaign, should something occur here on, on the, uh, at the facility, that you will, the people will have the tools to enable them to keep people alive longer, uh, deliver them to the hospital in better condition so that the life-saving life work that is done by Dr. Tout and her, her team um, will enable them to, to survive uh, as, as to, to the extent possible. So we're very excited about that. Uh, as, as was said, we've been, we've been partners for 40 years, so this is just one more way that we're able to work with, with uh, Hopkins International Airport to support, support the travelers going through northeastern Ohio. And what we're doing is we're, we have uh, supplied these Stop the Bleed kits, which I think we'll, we'll be going through uh, in a little bit. But um, we're also supplying the training that will happen for, for the staff here, uh, the paramedics and firefighters, but also for TSA agents and others who uh, need to know uh, where things are at, how, how to operate the equipment, and save, help save lives as well. So I, I just want to uh, thank a few people. First of all, uh, Assistant Chief Davis and Firefighter Matt uh, Urey, uh, who have worked very closely with our EMS manager, Jackie Humschild, in, in making this uh, campaign come to, to the airport. We're very pleased and, and appreciative of, of your efforts uh, to make that happen. I also uh, would like to uh, welcome Chief Garth. We'll look forward to working with you in the future and uh, look forward to having you join our, our SAFES meetings at the hospital on, uh, on a regular basis. But I just want to say thank you again to the, uh, to the airport for your support, for your partnership, and uh, we're very pleased to be able to uh, supply the Stop the Bleed kits uh, and look forward to working with you further in the future. So again, uh, thank you and congratulations on your uh, Mission Lifeline Award. Thank you. Stay tuned for more Around Town. Be sure to tune in to Hora Hotel right here on TV20. Hey, Dad. Do we have a gun? What's up? We have a gun. Why do you ask that, kiddo? Can I play with it? No, absolutely not. It's not a toy. You know that. Anyway, I need it to protect you, your sister and mom. But what about the eight kids who get shot every day by mistake? Where'd you hear that? 
Where do you keep it? <laughs> it's hidden. I bet it's on the top shelf of the closet, under your sweatshirts. Is it loaded? Remember when I found my Christmas gift? You always told me to be curious. No. No, that's not what I meant. It was just me and Mom. I could use the gun to protect her. No, Justin, I promise. I'm always here for you. But, Dad, you're not always here. Good morning, everybody. I'm Todd Payne. I'm the Chief of Marketing and Air Service Development for Cleveland Hopkins Airport and the Cleveland Airport System. It is always a wonderful way to start the day when you have an air service announcement. A little better? And that's what we're doing today. Uh, today we have uh, some guests visiting us. Uh, we have Zach Kramer, who is the PR specialist for Allegiant Air, who flew in from Las Vegas. And uh, Robert Kennedy, our director, is going to speak. And we have uh, Jennifer Valencic, uh, our VP of Partnership with Destination Cleveland, is here to talk about this special announcement. And again, thank you to all of you who have joined us this morning. Without further ado, I take great pride in inviting up Zach Kramer, PR specialist from Allegiant Air. Good morning. Can you guys hear me all right? Thank you so much for having me today. Thank you, Todd. Thank you, Robert. Uh, you know, today is a big milestone for us at Allegiant and for travelers looking for more options out of Cleveland Hopkins. Today, we, well, first of all, I want to start back to February 2017. That's when we first began service here at Cleveland Hopkins. And since then, we have moved a city. More than 460,000 people have flown on Allegiant through this airport. I think that deserves a round of applause big number, right? We have 10 destinations currently. We're going to have 12 after today. So I'm here today because we are announcing two new routes, and that's to Charleston, South Carolina, and Norfolk, Virginia, Virginia Beach. And those are with fares as low as $38, and they're both going to start in early June. So we're super excited about that. Thank you. So these are twice weekly flights. Um, again, they're going to be as low as $38. They're on all nonstop, ultra low cost. And you know, these come about because we've really seen the demand for travel to these destinations. Uh, and you know, I also want to say that we have heard your requests, Cleveland. We listen to your requests, we listen to your input, and we are so excited to be offering these new routes. Um, lastly, I want to thank the community here for all of their support, for all of the success that we have seen here, and I want to thank, thank our airport partner. You guys have really allowed us to be so successful here in Cleveland. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, and Allegiant appreciates it. Thank you. Thank you, Zach. Thank you. You know, when Zach said good morning, I didn't hear a resounding good morning back from the audience. Good morning. Good morning. Great, because we're Cleveland, and it's great to be in Cleveland. And it's great that we have partners, as Zach talked about, in Destination Cleveland, our airline group, our airport group, and our community. When I first came to Cleveland two years ago, I had people say, you know, we had the Republican National Convention in July of 2016, and that was a crescendo for the city of Cleveland for the airport. Well, let me tell you, we passed that crescendo a long time ago. One year after the Republican Convention here in 2016, in 2017 in July, we welcomed 100,000 more guests than we did in 16 in that one month. The next summer, the summer of 2018, we welcome over 370,000 guests to this airport. And our forecast for this year, for this summer, is a half a million more than we did in that summer of 16. Over 10 million annual passengers, or guests as we call them, are expected in this airport this year. We haven't seen numbers like that since 10, uh, 2008. And it doesn't happen because of myself, or Todd, or 
any one person or one group. It's all of us working together. It's all of us working together to make sure that we have a good guest experience, we have good relationships with our airline partners, and they see that the investments in Cleveland are returned. And it, so it takes, it does take a village for us to make this to happen. And I thank Zach, and I'm going to introduce Jennifer here in a moment from uh, Destination Cleveland because it's important. Uh, Zach talked a little bit about Norfolk and Charleston, the two announcements today, and those important destinations. Anybody who's seen me stand up here before and talk about an announcement, it's about coming to Cleveland as well. I have been here two years. I am really blessed. I see Pam over there shaking her head. She's been here about eight months. Cleveland is a great place to be. So not only going to Charleston and Norfolk uh, for all of those attractions, but it's coming to Cleveland for all that we offer. We are a world-class city offering world-class entertainment, food, and uh, cultural uh, events. So I thank Zach and Allegiant and their management team, their senior team, for continuing to invest in Cleveland, to make it more accessible for people to come to Cleveland and for P Clevelanders to go experience the rest of the world. So with that, speaking of experiencing the rest of the world, I'm going to introduce Jennifer from Destination Cleveland to talk a little bit about this impact on us. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Director Kennedy. It's so great to be here today. On behalf of the team at Destination Cleveland, we are so excited to help welcome some visitors from Norfolk and Charleston into the, this great city of Cleveland and in Northeast Ohio. It's, it's opportunities like this that allow us to um, change perceptions and attract people into the area. So we want to thank Allegiant for this new air service into, into Cleveland and out of Cleveland so that our Clevelanders have the opportunity to explore these cities, but also that we can work with the airport team and with Allegiant to welcome all new visitors into the area. As a community, we're hoping to reach 20 million visitors by 2020, and as Director Kennedy's remarks stated, we are well on our way, and it's opportunities like this that help us get there. So with that, I want to um, just comment that it's so great to see that people from Norfolk and Charleston can now easily and affordably get into Cleveland and experience everything that this city has to offer. And at Destination Cleveland, we really look forward to assisting them during their stay. So thank you, and thank you for your continued investment in Cleveland. That will be the end of our announcement. I want to remind everyone, as far as the destinations, everyone knows how wonderful Charleston is. For the folks who are going, tell me about Norfolk. Norfolk is um, Virginia Beach. It's a beautiful beach area. Colonial Williams Williamsburg is there. It is a gateway to the Outer Banks of North Carolina. And if, for those roller coaster riders, it's a great way to get to Bush Gardens. So um, thank you to everyone, and have a wonderful day. For the media, we'll have uh, Zach available and uh, Robert available to speak, and Jennifer. Thank you.